constitutionality and the approval of your Supreme Court has in parentheses of same-sex marriage have sealed the fate as a nation. Because of your willingness to follow the laws of man who have been led by the de demonic evils of Satan and his cohorts and your unwillingness to follow the commandments of your one true and only God, your nation will meet its demise. Those of my children who rejected following the laws of my father as well as the truth of my holy church will suffer the plagues, famine, pestilence, and death written about in the book of Revelation. My children, you will be read, must be ready at any moment. Now he's, he's talking to the remnant army. I, I hope everybody is aware of this. My children, you must be ready at any moment and not ignore the signs that you will be that will be given you. There will be signs in the sky as events are close to happening, which we have already seen. I'm going to interject that. Um, then look to the earth, it, for it will shake and the uh, fire will sprue forth, which boils below the core of the earth. The earthquake quakes will split most of your country in two while some of your cities will fall into the sea and completely disappear. While, talk, while, talking, while taking thousands of my children, in, children without a moment's notice, the mountains will crumble and many volcanoes will erupt with the loss of many lives. There will be a huge tidal wave stronger and higher than the tallest building, and these will destroy all in their path very important the loss of the lives through these catastrophic events will be too high to count and your and your lives forever change these events will happen closely together not giving any relief before the next event strike and there will be no time to react with anything but sheer panic and chaos there's more but i'm going to drop down just because i don't want to take too much time here with this um, try to keep it short. The devastation of these disasters will bring many of my children to their knees. I will embrace any child of mine who, become, who comes to me, comes before me with contrite heart. What happens to the souls of my children who pass from this life so suddenly? And there was no time to seek my forgiveness. Now he's asking us this question. What happens to the souls of my children who pass from this life so suddenly? and there is no time to seek my forgiveness. We know what happens, and this is why we are part of the Remnant Army. We're trying to save souls. We want to get these souls to heaven, these people who didn't walk the walk, these people who, who are sinners, who haven't repented. This is who he's talking about. Okay, so he said, here is, this is the most important part. That, I'll take my glasses off to say this. This is the most important part. Okay, please listen carefully. I ask my faithful prayer warriors to pray, pray, pray for those of your brothers and sisters who desperately need my divine mercy through your prayers. If there is no one who prays for these children, then they will be lost forever into the internal flames of hell. I want you to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet ahead of time for these children of mine who are dead souls as they walk upon your earth. They have given up their souls for the worldly pleasure of your sinful world. Without your prayers, they will be lost and will suffer eternally. Okay. I love the way Jesus refers to this. How many times have we seen these people around us who walk in and out of our lives? Some of us are living, some of them are living in our homes. And how does he describe them? I want you, I want you to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet ahead of time for these children of mine who are dead souls as they walk upon your earth. They have given up their souls for the worldly pleasures of your sinful world. 
without your prayers, they will be lost to, and will suffer eternally. This is it. This is it. Jesus is appealing to us to say the Divine Mercy Chaplet. And if you are part of the Remnant Army, you need to get on board with this. You need to get on board with this. This is what Jesus is asking. He goes on to say, many of my prophets today whom, whom you call visionaries or locutionists, okay, I fall into that category, have been chosen by me because they are stronger in their, well, I am, I, I'm nobody. I'm just getting this from Jesus. But he says, because they are stronger from their faith, in their faith, than most of my shepherds who claim to love the Lord. He goes on to talk about his shepherds. He's talking about his priests. And there are many, many good priests. And he talks about the good priests. He talks about the priests who have, uh, who are not living up to his standard. Uh, but he, he, I won't go into all that about priests, but he does ask us to pray for priests. And each of us in the remnant army should have, be praying for our parish priests. We should have a list of priests and we should um in the locution that I had on one occasion, Mary spoke to my soul and she said that we should say their name out loud before we pray the rosary to announce who we are praying for each time we pray the rosary. So um, please do that too. Not only pray for the salvation of souls, uh, lost souls, but also pray for um, pray for the priest. Let me see if there's anything else I want to say on this. I thought there was um, more I was going to. Oh, this I wanted to share too. It says, I stand before you this evening as your Lord and Savior. And I know that all of you are here this evening, that all of you here this evening are trying to become my faithful children. You are all battling crosses and burdens through despair, desolation, and confusion. Many of my children who are parents and grandparents, I find this very important, are watching your children and grandchildren lose their faith through the evils of your world, or those who are suffering with grave illness, as well as those battling terrible addiction. A loss of a child or grandchild is a suffering for which your heart is heavy with sorrow. I know I, your Jesus, want to assure you that I'm holding on to you through every cross that you carry, through each bout of depression, through the loss of your children and loved ones, and, and through each and every spiritual attack that has come before you. Do not give up. Hold on to your faith and believe in my love for you because I have always been with you, especially through the, your darkest hours. I will never leave or abandon you. I am love and mercy, and through your trust in me, I will help you overcome and subdue all your evil enemies. So if there's anything else I want to share with you. My faithful prayer warriors, you must not fear or worry over what is soon to take place within your country because through your prayers of love and dedication that you have sown to me and my beloved mother, I will show you my, I will show you my love. I will take care of you and your family as each storm approaches. You must understand that while praying for your family members, it may sometimes be necessary to bring them to their knees before a conversion can take place. Many of your family members are refusing to answer my call to them, be, my call to them because of the sin of pride. Every one of my children has a free will to choose as he wishes. And I will not violate that free will. So ultimately, it will be their choice in choosing which direction they wish to travel. It just goes on and on. It's so beautiful. Let me just read the uh, uh, last two paragraphs. I am your strength and your salvation. It is through my Holy Eucharist that you will become stronger to fight the evil that surrounds your world. Come before me and visit me in adoration 
This is very important. He puts this in here. I'm so glad I didn't forget to read this. Come before me and visit me in adoration where I am truly present in, in my blessed sacrament. Allow your hearts to give thanks and praise for all I have given you. Talk with me about all your fears, troubles, joys, and sorrows. I will listen and hear your pleas to me. I want to hear every word that you speak to me, for I love you so deeply. And lastly, he says, um, it is important to remind you that the sacrament of confession is a holy sacrament. And w when received worthily, you will not only obtain the remission of your sins, but also receive and increase of an increase of sanctifying grace. Come before me with repentance of your sin and I will melt your frozen hearts. Oh, I love that. Come before me with come before me with repentance of your sins and I will melt your frozen hearts with the flames of my most merciful heart and will warm you and will warm your whole being through my divine grace. I love you. I bless you in my Father's name. And that is uh, so beautiful. And, you know, I have no doubt that this is an authentic locution because so much of what he's saying is what he's already said to me. I've heard this myself, and it's... Uh, it's Jesus talk, and I know it because it's the Jesus I know. And uh, so that's it. Um, I'm Michelle Shannon, and uh, I am a child of the Most High God. I belong to Jesus. Um, never forget that you are a child of the Most High God, and you belong to Jesus. Uh, I just want to encourage the Remnant Army to, to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet every day. Pray your Rosary every day. Pray your Crusade prayers every day. We are the last. We are the last Catholics on earth. And um, Jesus is coming. And how awesome is that? Um, you know, let's just give it all we've got. And for the salvation of souls and pray for your priest. Jesus loves you. Good night, everybody.